I mean, you say that unequivocal advice wasn't given, and you know, to the extent that's not documents, there may be a bit of a he said, you said, back to 2005 6. But in his evidence in July 2009 to the DCMS committee, um, the current DPP was absolutely clear. He wrote the law to prove the criminal offence of interception, the prosecution must prove that the actual message was intercepted prior to it being accessed by the intended recipient. Well, I, I did read that, but I also read his later evidence in which he expanded on the process and indeed quoted from um, email advice and written advice that was given to the police by the head of the Special Crime Division. Um, he also, I think, made the point that um, this, this point never failed to be argued. The defendants pleaded guilty and that the indictment contained counts in respect of which we could not prove that. So it, it seems to me that the, the, the outcome and the way the case unfolded doesn't support with respect uh, Mr. Yates' contention that unequivocal advice has been given. If that advice has been given, it would be difficult to see how those counts could have ended up on the indictment.